Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we are going to be continuing with our series on Bayesian epistemology. In this video we're just going to be doing a quick distinction between subjective and objective Bayesianism to variations of Bayesian epistemology. So the difference is going to be, imagine that you have an urn that's filled with only cubes and spheres. You have no other information about the urn. What initial degree of belief should you assign to, I will pull a sphere? And what initial degree of belief should you assign to, I will pull a cube? Assuming that you're pulling these things randomly out of the urn. Well, subjective and objective Bayesianism is going to be different on this point. The Bayesians that subscribe to subjective Bayesianism are going to say, that there are no constraints or very few constraints on the prior probabilities that can be assigned to either statement. Some might simply say that we can't be certain, that we can't assign the prior probabilities of 1 or 0 to the statements. But for the most part, they will allow any degree of belief to be rational. So remember, subjective Bayesianism allows for most any degree of belief to be rational. Objective Bayesians, on the other hand, will claim that we must assign a 0.5 degree of belief to each statement. With no information, we must assign probabilities that are invariant if the labels were changed. Or in other words, since we have no more information about spheres than cubes in the urn, we must be assigned the same degrees of belief. Or in other words, because we could switch the words sphere and cube in our information and our information wouldn't change, we need to assign them the same degree of belief. Objective Bayesians don't claim that there are prior degrees of belief that must be rationally assigned in all situations. They simply claim that there are certain situations which require degrees of belief to be assigned, even without specific information. Now, this is important because the final objection, and to me, the most convincing objection to Bayesian epistemology is going to be the problem of the priors. It's going to be the last objection we look at, and it's going to deal with the assigning of prior probabilities. So, keep this distinction in mind. That was variations of Bayesianism. The last thing we're going to be looking at in our series on Bayesian epistemology is objections to Bayesian epistemology. It's not going to be one video. It's going to be a whole series because there's a lot of them. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org. Check out the SEP for more information on Bayesian epistemology and stay skeptical, everybody.